welcome back to our fourth installation on Saturday Selects, the series where I step through and curate some videos from my channel that you may not be familiar with, may have not seen, uh, shows that I think uh, maybe didn't get as much attention as they should have when they first came out, shows that uh, um, I think shooters have worked really hard on and, and deserve to see their efforts seen by more folks. and. Uh, hopefully some of, some of you can learn some things along the way too if you're newer to fireworks watching some of these get some new ideas things like that um, this video will be it's so these are on the second and fourth Saturday of every month I'll be doing this throughout 2022 uh, this one however is coming out on December 25th so I do uh, have a special uh, lined up for you today instead of featuring one video I'm going to be featuring four videos and this one is something from uh, um, one of our KCAP shoot, Kansas City Area Pyrotechnicians uh, Club that I'm a part of here in Kansas City. We get together several times throughout the year and shoot shows. Now, this is from our Freeze Fest shoot in 2019. And uh, these four shows have one thing in common, and that's that they are all part of uh, something that we do occasionally called the Not So Blind Pyro. And the Not So Blind Pyro is uh, kind of a, um, well, not really a throwback, but it, it's kind of paying homage to uh, something from Sky Wars that you may be familiar with called Blind Pyro. Blind Pyro, uh, you get a pile of pyro previously unknown to you at 3 p.m. on Friday, and you have to have a show set up ready to go by 7 p.m. on Friday. Now you get a team of five to do that, and over the course of the past 10 years, the shows have gone from uh, being pretty uncoordinated, um, just kind of bucket tosses of people managing to get everything wired up and shoot it kind of randomly to now people put on full-blown pyro musicals in the course of four hours. So it's pretty amazing what folks are able to do. The idea behind the not-so-blind pyro is uh, um, we're keeping the idea of you get a pile of pyro um, uh, but you have way more than four hours to think about it. And this is something that I started at Thunder on the Plains a couple of years before this. I don't remember what year. And uh, I just had a bunch of stuff, kind of random onesie twosie stuff or whatever that I didn't think I'd be using in a show anytime soon. And I kind of piled it all together and, and put, it, put something out on the forums and said, you know, hey, if anybody wants all of this and you want all of it to put in a pyro musical, and you provide the e-match and you provide some of your own product uh, you can have it and I, I think i put some other stipulations around there like you had to use it all in the show and everything it had to be a power musical so many minutes or whatever but uh, kind of my, my real intent with doing that was get some people that haven't done shows before that are maybe tentative to kind of dip their toe in that water or whatever uh, um, to be more willing to do that because they have to have some product to play around with. It's not their product that they're they're burning up if it doesn't go well or whatever. So that went over really well. I think Sean was the first guy that, that did that. And uh, so this was kind of the second iteration of that. Again, I, I had a bunch of product to burn up and I kind of threw it out there on our club forum. You know, anybody be interested in this? And uh, this time it got, it got a lot more steam and uh, bunch of other club members said, yeah, I've got some product I can donate to. I've got stuff, I've got stuff. And I think we even ended up getting some of the, uh, some of the local, uh, you know, companies we work with to donate some product to. And uh, I don't remember how we ended up with four people, but somehow we ended up that we figured out we had enough product and enough people interested in doing this that we actually had four different shooters um, all participate in the Not So Blind Pyro, which I think was just amazing. Um, because these were four people, all four of them had never shot a pirate musical at a club event before. Um, I don't know that any of them had even shot a pirate musical before. Uh, that was kind of the point of doing it at a club shoot where they would have some help. So normally we don't even, I would like, we don't even average one new club member shooting a pirate musical per shoot, um, per each shoot we do <laughs> per year. So to get four people at one shoot, I was blown away with how uh, well this went. Uh, so it was Jacob, Joe, Josh, and TJ. Uh, TJ, you may know him from his Big Key Pyro channel. Uh, this is, uh, I think it was the first Pyro musical he'd shot. I think he had shot some other shows before this, but they weren't to music. 
Um, so it was a very cold day. I won't get into all the details of the day, but overall, I mean, it, it was really impressive. Uh, I think everybody had pretty good shows. Uh, there are some comments, all four, all four of the shows are in the description below. There are some comments where people are a little rough uh, critiquing some of these guys, but give them a break. This is, this is their first show they've ever scripted for all four of these guys. And I, honestly, I think they did great. And uh, I was really glad to see the turnout. Uh, um, they're all still in the club. Uh, yeah, they're all still in the club. Yeah. Uh, um, so we've, we've managed to hook them on Pyro and Pyro Musical, so I, I think uh, overall it turned out great. Uh, um, I had fun with Josh. I helped him script his and set his up, and uh, that was fun. I, I think I hope he had fun as well. Uh, I enjoyed kind of teaching something to some uh, to a newer guy in the club and uh, kind of walking him through things and what to think about and. Uh, so check it out. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. This is uh, a special four video treat, uh, um, and there's you know there's a little uh, um, undertones of giving in there with um, everybody kind of chipping in to help these guys shoot their first show and everything. So it felt like a very Christmas spirited uh, um, set of videos to tee up for December 25th. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope your families are all well. Please be safe out there. If you enjoy this content, uh, I'd love to know it. If you have suggestions, I'd love to know that as well. Uh, um, so again, please like and subscribe if you would. And uh, be safe. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.